We're about to get into all the functions and features of the Singer SE9180 embroidery side of this sewing and embroidery machine. Now we have lots of links in the description below. Number one, a link to the playlist that has all the YouTube videos that we have done for this machine, starting with the sewing videos first and then switching over to the embroidery video second. And the idea is that they're kind of on the short side. So if you're looking for a specific topic that you can kind of zero in and watch the video that you want. Now, before we get started, make sure that as you watch these videos, reach down, click that like button. Uh, if you're watching all 50 plus videos on this machine, I need you to click that like button 50 times. If you're watching videos for other channels and other producers of content, make sure you're also clicking like on their videos. It's like the free thing that you can do to say thank you for the information. Information. Okay, let's get started. As you turn the machine on, you're going to notice that you're going to find designs are going to be showing first. And like I said, I'm just going to take you on a quick tour and then we're going to go into with other videos like how to stitch a design from start to finish, how to load alphabets and, and different designs. But you have over 150 designs built into this machine, which I absolutely love. And I do recommend that if you are just kind of looking around is take some time to stitch something out and then that way you can see that it's going to look 10 times better in thread than just what's pictured on the screen. If you're looking for letters, switch down here to the T and these are 10 built-in fonts that are ready to stitch out. Now we are going to be talking about how to add more fonts to this machine using the free quick font program that uh, is included with your purchase. You'll find that program is downloaded from the mysonet.com website so you can access all all the fonts that are in your computer and turn them into embroiderable fonts. Now we also have an online course to help really help you master the features of that free program. Most people don't even know it's available so I get excited about it because there's so many options you can do with that. But just start first with the built-in design. So as you can find a design that you want to do or find lettering, you can do quilt labels, you can do monograms, so many different things. After you've picked your design, then you might want to, to move it or size it. You're gonna to toggle over to the editing side of the machine. So just remember, it's at the top that you're looking for. So picking designs, editing designs. You'll notice you kind of get a grid and you can then have the option to move a design around. You can size design so you can make it bigger or too big. It does show you if it goes outside the hoop. So we can rotate the designs. We can mirror image the designs. We can even save designs. We can change the color of the design. So if you're thinking that you want the handles to be yellow and the, the sharp points to be um, red, then you can change those up so you can see what it's going to look like before you even stitch it out. You can even change the background color. So if you're going to be stitching on something turquoise, you can change the background color to be that color. And then that way you can see, does your design have enough contrast before you even stitch it out and realize it afterwards that you should have used different colors. So just note that there's lots of options for you to do. So once you get everything set, and again, you can move designs with the arrows, you can bring more than one design in at a time. So if I went back to the flower and picked out another sewing themed option here that we can go back into editing and ungroup them so I can pick the second design by arrowing down. It grays out the first design. Now I can put this somewhere else. And then I could even come in and put in, say my name or a date, or when I started sewing, established 19, whatever. All right, so there's lots of things that you can do with that. Once you touch the arrow at the bottom, once you, once you touch the check mark at the bottom, it's going to ask for you to attach the hoop and then we'll get started into the stitching area. So I'm going to just kind of come back 
over here. Now there's a few other things at the tops that we want to reference. Number one, the cloud. This is where I want you to go to the mysonet.com website and create an account, or you can create it right here. It's a free account that allows you to transfer designs via your Wi-Fi connection within your home. So you don't even have to put designs on a USB stick, but if you have an account and you sign in, that will be an option for you as well. We also have some things in the settings, like how to bring a design in from a USB stick, or also how to set up your embroidery machine. Like, do you want it to make a sound as you work through it? Do you want a screensaver? Do you want your, um, it to detect when there's a thread break. Yes, leave that on, that's a good one. Automatic thread cutter, we're gonna talk about when you don't want this to be automatic and you can actually switch it to manual and if you want the tie-offs or not. There is another area for settings where we can select other hoops if you've purchased them. Um, clear the download cache, it's, it's, it's an option just to kind of keep your machine clean of lots of de designs that you've maybe downloaded. Um, restore to factory default settings, and you can also give your machine a nickname. So there are some other things around, but those are just some highlights that I wanted you to see that we can do. And once we get started, this is gonna be an amazing experience. Now, it's probably gonna be at times where things don't go right, and we call that learning, okay? So we do have an online course called the Embroidery Essentials Online Course. Uh, we do have some other samples up above here, the, the two above. So every square that you do is actually a different technique. So learning how to do different embroidery techniques while learning your machine. So just keep that in mind that that's an option. We do have free videos in these courses that you can watch to see if that course might be right for you. But if I could tell anybody, oh, by the way, this is our most popular online course. So I hope you'll, you'll check it out. So those links to all the free videos are down below. The links to the courses will get you started. And I hope you'll jump in with us as we get started to play around and start stitching out some designs and some lettering.